Hey guys, welcome to my tutorial. My name is Vic. I'm gonna walk you through the basics of how to create your own custom sound set for your GlideSphere system. Now, the GlideSphere library actually contains quite a few really impressive sounds already, but I think one of the most attractive features of this system is that you can custom design your own and really see how it interacts with the app because it is really an interactive experience. Now that we are getting started, it's important when you're beginning this process just to kind of visualize uh, the end goal of what you're going to create here. At the end of this process, you're going to need to have four separate WAV files, um, all with different sounds in them. Now it's important to note as well that these three, your glide, decelerate, and accelerate sounds need to be seamlessly looping. Um, if they are not seamless loops, it will you can upload them, but it won't sound great uh, due to the way the app interacts um, with the accelerometer in your phone. So I've gone and imported these into my timeline here just so we can get started. So as I mentioned before, uh, this is our start sound. So let's go ahead and preview that. All right, so that's kind of a spaceship type of vibe that I was going for, you know, some type of um, photon engine, if you will. And uh, you can see here in the clip that it fades in and it fades out, and I actually sharpened the um, ramp, the on-ramp and the off-ramp of the audio here, uh, just because I've already tested this out with the app. And I noticed that it interacts a little bit better um, if you have a sharper fade, um, so that it initiates the glide sound right away and there's not kind of like a moment of quiet before it starts. So I would highly recommend making your uh, start sound have a sharp drop off at the end of it. Moving on to the glide sound, um, I'm just going to preview this one for you. This one's already looping. Um, my accelerate and decelerate files are not looping yet, so I'll show you how to do it there. But let's go ahead and preview our glide sound just here. Now, this is the sound that your vehicle is going to make um, if you're moving at an even speed, essentially. Like a, a picture if you're at cruise control uh, on the highway, um, not accelerating, not decelerating, this is what you'll be hearing. So just kind of a steady hum uh, is what I was going for there, a little bit of an electronic um, fizz, if you will. And like I said, uh, this is seamless and loopable, and I can demonstrate that by duplicating this clip, pasting it over here, and then pasting it again right next to itself. Now, this is a great way to test your loop to see if it's worked or not, because if you hear any pops or clicks or if it just sounds awkward on this transition, then you know you have some work to do still. So let's go ahead and play it from here and just listen to that gap. All right, so that sounded pretty good. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with that. Now let's move on and I can show you how to create a loop out of a sound that you may already have created. So if you've recorded a sound or downloaded a sound um, or just created something with synth or any, any program, honestly, you can use virtually anything to create and manipulate sounds for the GlideSphere app. But whatever you're starting with has to loop. So one of the quickest and easiest ways to pull a loop out of a pre-created sound effect is to, first of all, you're gonna have to listen to it. So let's go ahead and check this out. This is my accelerate sound. Now it's a good start, but obviously the fade in and fade out uh, is not conducive to a loop. So we're gonna have to pull some parts of this out of the center. That's our first step. So you wanna find a good spot where it sounds like we're accelerating. So I really like these first three kind of peaks in the waveform here, so. I think if we pull, and as you can see, I'm talking about this is one peak, this is another peak, and this is another. So let's grab, oh, let's grab right here, isolate that part of the clip, 
copy it, and now paste it over somewhere that you can work on it. All right, now this is what we have. Okay, now you would think that you could just paste that right up against itself and you'd have a loop, but let's see how that sounds. So that's obviously not gonna work. Now the easiest way to solve this is simply to take the second clip and reverse it. So essentially, this is going to play backwards. Now, if you're doing this in Adobe Premiere like I am, um, I'm doing it in Premiere because I'm also editing the tutorial in Premiere, um, you can simply go right click on your clip, hit speed duration, and then reverse the speed. and then click OK. Now as you can see, the waveform reversed, and now it looks a lot more uniform uh, when we're looking at it here. So let's see how this plays um, as it is now. So I really like how that came out. Now the ultimate test is going to be to take both of the clips, copy it, and paste that next to itself. So this is what I would save as my sound, so I would isolate this and save it. But let's make sure it sounds good when it repeats multiple times. I'm quite happy with that. So we can go ahead, set this aside. Um, now we have our accelerate sound. So I'm gonna delete the duplicate and let's move on to our decelerate sound. Now, originally what I had done when I created both of these is I essentially altered the pitch for the decelerate sound um, just by using the accelerate sound as my starting point. Um, so that's something you can do. That's a quick way to do this. For example, we can grab our starting point from our accelerate sound and simply lower the pitch to create a more of a deceleration sound effect. All right, so that really does sound slow. So let's compare the two. It's a little too slow in my opinion. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that pitch a bit. Now I'm adjusting the pitch just by um, adjusting the actual speed of the clip in this instance. However, you can, I'm sure there's a plethora of ways to do this uh, in other programs. All right, so now let's apply our technique that we've been using to create the loop and paste this next to itself and then reverse it. All right, now let's go ahead and preview that. Sounds good. And the final check, paste it next to itself and preview it all the way through. Excellent. I'm quite happy with that. So now we have our accelerate sound, our decelerate sound. I'm just going to go ahead and clean that up our glide sound, and our start sound. Now, you simply need to save them each individually, make sure you name them appropriately, and then we'll upload them to the GlideSphere app. Okay, now we have our four sounds that we need to create our first sound set. So, the next step is actually going to be to go to the GlideSphere website. Once you're here, you're going to want to go ahead and click on the app. And then create sounds. And then create a sound set. Now there's a link here that you can follow to upload your custom sound set. Now like I said at the beginning of the tutorial, you need your start sound, accelerate sound, glide sound, and decelerate sound. 
So I already created them and named them in my folder to make this easier. So now let's just upload those. Again, just matching them up to where they belong. And then give yourself a title. We're not gonna be too creative with this one because it is a tutorial. And then go ahead and save your sound set. This might take a moment to process. And then you will receive a QR code. The next step will be handled through the GlideSphere app. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to a screen recording of that. All right, now, once you're in the GlideSphere app, we're gonna click on the top left-hand corner. Um, you'll see library, new, and custom. We wanna go ahead and press the plus sign at the bottom of custom. That will open up your camera. Scan your QR code, and it'll begin the download. And now our sound set has been loaded and it's ready to go. Time to test it out. So go ahead and get in your vehicle, uh, set up your speaker, and give it a try. Um, you can also test it just over the Bluetooth inside your vehicle uh, so that you can really listen to the nuances of it. I'm pretty happy with the way it sounds. Um, I think this one's a success. It can absolutely be tweaked a little bit, but that's half the fun of this. Uh, keep, you know, keep trying it out, keep testing it, uh, keep modifying it, and uh, create new sound sets and contribute to the growing GlideSphere sound set library.